Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Thanks for riding along with us here at Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now everybody loves a pickup truck and a lot of folks need them every day. But the problem is if you want to buy a new truck, it's like a hundred grand. So people are sticking with old trucks like this 2006 Ram. It's a great truck, Lenny, but it has a lot of old technology in it. And what's the problem with that? Well, the older technology gives us slow spool up, right? Turbo boost is great when you're in the boost, but it's not so fun getting there sometimes. And then during that boost, you often see kind of what I like to call the school bus where it takes off and then it leaves that little black cloud of smoke. And that black cut of smoke isn't actually propelling the vehicle forward. It's just unwasted, unburnt energy, right? Yeah, so you're wasting, you're wasting fuel right there. Wasting fuel right there. And the drivability, you know, we all talk about how much horsepower we want, but what we're really wanting is we want instant throttle response. We want that really torquey feel off the bottom end. And the newer style trucks that are $100,000 have variable main turbochargers, bigger cubic inch motors. They've got higher injection uh, with the injection systems, higher injection pressures. And with all of that stuff, they have that really snappy feel that these older trucks didn't have. Well, what we thought of was we thought we wanted to get rid of the black smoke. We wanted to bring people something that was really torquey and snappy feeling. We at Dynamite Diesel uh, decided to try this like idea of a pilot hole inside of the injection nozzle. And a lot of the, the problem was the pressure. Like this common rail enjoys variable rail pressure but mechanical trucks don't really enjoy that at all. So with mechanical trucks, like these older style injectors has a pump, a line, and then it goes to the injector. And in order to get these things to make any horsepower, they had to have a really large spray orifice. Large spray orifice means poor atomization unless you're shoving a lot of fuel at it to make a lot of pressure. So with full throttle, you're great, but when you're easing into the throttle off the red light, it's a it, it, Yeah, yeah. So at wide open throttle, you're going to see really high needle travel and a lot of injection pressure hitting this injector atomizes very, very well. Well, with today's technology, abrasive flow machining, we've got our own EDM in-house so we can move and manipulate angles. We can also then put the pilot holes in, which we hold a patent on this. Let's look at the anatomy of an injector from Dynamite Diesel here with the pilot hole. So show me what we're looking at here on the board. Well, basically, I'm going to use my little injector here as my yeah. pointer because Perfect. it's so cool. Now, we've got the general shape of a nozzle. We've got the general shape in blue of the needle valve. We've got arrows indicating in blue the needle valves travel up and down. I've also drawn a red line right there for stop. That's where the seat is. Nothing leaks past the seat unless it's supposed to go past the seat. So with uh, common rail, we've got a solenoid at the top of that, and the solenoid tells the injector when to start passing fluid and when to fire. So what happens is below this seat, this gets flooded with diesel fuel in the green. That starts to flood. You're gonna get these two little tiny pilot holes to atomize fluid and spray out into the piston bowl. And then under higher pressure, when the needle starts to rise further, you're gonna go back to the primary spray holes bypassing the pilot holes. Genius. So what are folks gonna notice if they have injectors from Dynamite Diesel? Uh, first off, we balance things within 2%. So every single injector in that set is gonna be 98, 99, or 100% of like what its target goal was. Others are gonna be within 15 to 20%, maybe 18% It's kind of a real target. So very smooth, very, very drivable feeling. The pilot hole technology, like on a cold morning where you would chronically see a bunch of idle haze and things like that, that idle haze is gonna be just seconds, not minutes worth of it. The pilot hole technology, because it's so much more efficient at those low idle speeds like that, the tachometer is gonna be very stable, your brakes are gonna be more under control, and the steering wheel is gonna fight you less in those really low speed situations, especially on a hot day in, say, a mall parking lot or coming out of the post office, getting onto the street, um, if you're in a situation where you see that, you know, there's the, the truck coming up the road and you're thinking, man, I know that once I get up to speed, I've got enough horsepower to kind of run away from that guy. But do I have enough throttle response to get away from that guy right now? The answer is chronically going to be yes, because this is going to give you that like off the bottom from zero mile an hour to 25 mile an hour. It's going to be a very noticeable difference. So none of that idle haze that you see in a lot of diesels, better throttle response right off the bat. 
more efficient burning of the fuel, and none of that black soot. You can find all of this technology and how to get it at dynamitediesel.com. This stuff is incredible. We'll be right back with more great products for your vehicle here on Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. Don't go away.